uh, there's uh, me uh, back in 1946 on the right hand side. That's my dad right after he returned to the, from the war. He doesn't look like he's barely 30 years old, does he? That's how old he was. And uh, a lot of the World War II veterans that stayed out in combat for years. My dad was out in combat for all of World War II. And uh, there he is with us on a trip. Uh, you can see the blonde guy over there. That's me. That, I, I look, still look just like that. <laughs> uh, and then my, my brother Danny, they call me Stevie. And I'm Uncle Stevie to my nieces and nephews. Uh, is there, and then my older brother Jerry, who is, lives in Tacoma, Washington, he was also a career a Navy man. Uh, there's uh, a picture of us uh, around 1948 in San Diego. Uh, my, my dad's first assignment after the Navy uh, was to uh, train boots at the old Naval Training Center in San Diego, California. Uh, maybe you all remember when we had spinal meningitis years ago and when we joined up uh, the, in the, the Navy, they sent us to the Great Lakes. I hated that plane ride back there. I was, I'll never forget it. It took like 10 hours to get to Chicago and you thought you were going to crash every minute. That ghost town or bus picture is one of my favorites because Knott's Berry Farm was free. <laughs> Do you, do you all remember when Knott's Berry Farm was free, huh? Yeah. Wasn't that cool? We didn't have any money. I think my dad, as a chief boatswain's mate in the Navy, I think he was making $600 a month. At times we lived in a Quonset hut, a 750 square foot Quonset hut, five of us in there with all that smoking and joking going on. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Uh, we all had to live in that kind of environment, but it was a character-building experience.